Now we are going to have a wonderful video about the weekend weather in UK. So enjoy that and know what are the elements of weather you can um, catch up with. Here children, we are going to talk about weather and climate. And you know about it, um, uh, the weather is something, the atmospheric condition of that particular day. When we talk about uh, climate, the atmospheric condition over a long period of time, maybe the average is about 30 to 35 years. So weather can change daily. Climate, it will not change, it will take long time and we will have that particular climate for more years okay and here the radio record the weather report will be telling us what to do what not to do climate it will be we will be talking about that particular country's climate right here we are going to see a video of uh, the difference between climate and weather so make the note of it okay and here with that we have a small activity to do first you have to search the word connected with weather and climate Uh, here, children, there's a video on atmospheric pressure. Please uh, look into it. See what are the instruments used here. What is atmospheric pressure? What is the units used here? Be very useful for you, right? Yeah, here is again a video on humidity. Okay, you know what is humidity? The amount of water vapor present in the atmosphere. So enjoy this video too. There is an activity on atmospheric pressure children. So if you would have understood the uh, video and the teaching of your it be very easy for you to finish this activity. Here again, there is a video on precipitation. So, uh, we are talking about one of the elements of cloud cover and sunshine. When we talk about uh, cloud cover, it is about very important because it it is the one which uh, covers the heat, the radiation, the radiation which comes from the surface of the earth is taken by the atmosphere and the clouds. So the clouds take up the, uh, what do you say, the heat which is taken, which is coming out of the It will affect so that it will be the night hot keeps pleasant otherwise it will be like a desert you know that right because there is clear skies so when it is clear skies it will be too cold and too hot in desert areas but because of this uh, a cloud cover it also reduces the insulation that is the incoming solar radiation that also is stopped and as well as it stops the terrestrial radiation going into the atmosphere. So there are types of cloud cover. See here, it's clear skies. There's no clouds at all. Here, 25% is cloud cover. It will be scattered clouds. 75% cloud cover, broken clouds. Here, when the clouds are too much, when it is gray, you can observe that it is going to 
rain. So the cloud cover is stood in eights or octas in the weather maps, right? Now, here you can find the types of clouds that is nimbostratus, stratocumulus, cumulus, then you have cumulonimbus, then cirrocumulus, cirrocumulus, cirrus, cirrostratus. So these are the types of uh, clouds. It depends upon the uh, whether till 2 km, uh, 2 kilometers, what type of clouds you have after 4 km till 4 k kilometers you have here it represents 6 kilometers and 8 kilometers you have cumulonimbus and in 10 you have cirrus so these are the types of clouds you have and you uh, one will be fluffy okay it will be over right now Sunshine is determined by the season and the latitude of a place. Now, when it is in tropics, children, the latitudes, they are almost over the zero degree latitude goes on the equator. And it, the rays of the sun is so much vertical, it goes into a small place, small area, and the heat is more. But the poles, what happens? The... Uh, rays are slanting and it spreads to a large area. When the rays uh, spreads to a large area, what happens? The heat absorbed is very less. So, sunshine is more near the tropics and as you go higher the latitude, the slanting rays of the sun is there and when it is towards the poles, it is very, very less. But Again, you should know the sun, the uh, Earth's movement because of that. The North Pole is very near to the Sun sometimes, and the South Pole. Accordingly, you will have the temperature, right? And uh, the instrument to measure sunshine it is Campbell Stokes Sunshine Recorder, right? Now you have known all the elements of weather, children. Now, here you are going to talk about the importance of uh, the weather forecast. The weather forecast is given by the meteorologist. And here we are talking about the conditions of weather such as wind, direction, velocity, cloud cover. And it also guides the air traffic. You know very well when the forecast is very bad. It's going to rain heavily, thunder and strong. And there is fog. The um, what do you say? The meteorologists say that you shouldn't fly. So they stop the flights. And sometimes when it is very cold over in uh, northern India, and if there are floods or anything like that, we stop the trains. Now you had the Amban, um, what do you say, the a cyclone, where what happened? All the trains were stopped, which were going through Orissa and Bengal, West Bengal. Why? Because they are all, the speed of the weather will be about, the wind will come at about 180 kilometers. So, it is very difficult for the trains to move on. So, they have put a stop to all this. These are, these are the importance of weather forecast because they will help us to say whether to go or not, right? And it helps the farmers because in India, monsoon uh, weather, monsoon climate is very, very important. And the rainfall should come in a particular time from May, end of June. It goes on till September. So the uh, farmers, because you know very well, 75% of our people work on agriculture and they all depend upon the rainfall. The rainfall is very important for the economy of our country. So not only in our country, in every country, rainfall at particular intervals. And it should not be too much to create uh, floods, not too less to have a drought. So it should be a balance. So to help the farmers, um, when the weather forecast is very important, whether the when will the rain come, when it is going to be heavy rainfall, when can they... Is told by the meteorologist. And 
to avoid disasters. I told you when <clears throat> the weather forecast says it's better for the uh, not to go into the sea. They say that no, it will cyclone extremely strong and now so many uh, people were evacuated in Orissa and uh, West Bengal near the coast. Of the coast and it was to the um, what you say to the caretaking places so that they can avoid all this. But still, the awak was too much, right? Here, children, it's an activity where you have to write the uh, instrument of measurement and unit of measurement in this um, activity. Here, children, you would have uh, known about what is Stevens' screen and you would have enjoyed this. And please note that uh, what is the importance of uh, Stevenson weather, Stevenson screen in uh, in weather conditions to talk about the weather conditions and what are the instruments placed there. Okay, now here children, yeah, um, yeah, atmospheric pressure when we talk about the instruments used are Fortin's barometer, which is without uh, with mercury, and aneroid barometer without mercury, right? Here. Here, children, it's an activity. You have to m match the following with these instruments on left side and what does it measure? Here it's a very important activity children and it will be very interesting. Read the weather conditions of Bangalore from the newspaper and prepare a chart on temperature and rainfall for seven days. Find the weather conditions like humidity and cloud cover for two days of Bangalore, right? So let us uh, come to the end of the lesson. Now here we must have studied about the elements of weather and climate and also about the instruments used. Weather elements, uh, weather instruments are very, very important for us for our future uh, work. For example, when we want to go out or when we want, want to go for another country. So the weather instruments and the weather reports are very, very important. Particularly if you take UK, they every day the weather changes there. So every day they see the TV and note the con weather conditions and then they go out of their house to work. Right? So... We should know the difference between weather and climate also. Right? Thank you, children. Here you have a summative assessment. Please do this. It's very interesting. By this, you should have understood the lesson. Okay? And you can also become a meteorologist by this uh, lesson if you go through very well. Thank you, children. Have a wonderful day.